Well, hello everybody, it's Mary with Stamps and Lingers and it is seven o'clock on a Saturday, which means it is time for a video tutorial. I'm just gonna refresh my screen over here just to be sure that I'm actually out on the interweb where I belong and not just sitting crazy. Hi, Debbie, hi, Linda, and Alice, and Kevon. Appreciate you being able to join us, everybody. Hi, Linda and Marva. Nice of you to spend part of your weekend with me. Hi, Lorraine and Kathy. Appreciate you. All right, so this is the card that I gave you the sneak peek of. Oh, and now we're buffering. Time there we go. for oh. a video. I guess I should turn off the, the sound. Duh. This is a fun fold. It's one of my favorites because it is super, super easy. Basically, you're just making a little card, and you're attaching it to the front of another piece of cardstock. Could not get much simpler than that. And... It uses one of the most beautifulest, beautiful pieces of DSP from the new Fresh as a Daisy DSP pack, which, oh, by the way, y'all, is coming on Tuesday. We're like two days, two and a half days, two days, three sleeps. Wait, Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday. Yeah, three sleeps and a wake up and you can get this paper. So this is one of the designs and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten panels that you can cut apart. So I'm gonna show you how to cut this, okay? Because it's a little confusing looking. First, cut this line, okay? Then you can cut each of these and into their separate panels. Then you're gonna have just this left, cut this line and cut these two into their separate panels. Then you'll have just this square left and if you'll cut right there, then you'll have two two pieces that you can cut into four, easy and peasy. All right, I've used this one. It's a four by four square, and I have cut it down to um, three and a quarter by three and seven eighths, I believe. So when you want to trim a square or any piece of cardstock or DSP down to a same symmetry, just take little bits off of the, the same amount off of all four sides, okay? So if you need three and seven eighths to go down to, or four to go down to three and a quarter, you can take three eighths off and three eighths off, three eighths off one side, three eighths off the other side, all right? Just do it equally so that your um, image stays centered in the panel. That makes sense? Maybe not. But that's what I did. Any hooch, I, I cut it down to, um, you'll see here, this little panel is now three and one quarter inch wide from four inches, okay? And then this panel is now also three and seven eighths inch long. So really, I just took like a sixteenth of an inch off of each end of this, all right? That's where our paper trimmer is so handy because it has sixteenth marks on it, which is very nice. Hey, everybody, appreciate you coming. Alrighty. Yep, Jenna Marie, three more days and you're there. So let's go ahead and get started. It also features Bubble Bath and Pretty Peacock, both of which are colors that are coming available on Tuesday. Okay, let's get started. Everything will be on my blog tomorrow, so you don't even need to take notes. You can just sit and watch. Uh, Thursday is the day. All right, there you go. Alrighty, so the card base is simply a piece of four and one quarter by five and a half. It's only, it's a single piece. And I am going to take a piece of the um, Fresh as a Daisy DSP. This is in Pretty Peacock and Garden Green and it's kind of all melded together. Uh, yeah, Linda, I know you're gonna have such a good time when you get this, when you get the suite and, and the paper in particular, but don't limit yourself to just the sweet. This paper works with so many of our other products. So I'm just um, adhering that to a piece of crushed curry. See, I did not use lemon lolly. Yeah, no, I did not. All right, and then I have a piece of uh, Pretty Peacock cardstock that I embossed in the splatters folder from the Stripes and Splatters DSP. No, not DSP, 3D embossing folders. Okay, so it's a two pack. These work with the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine, but obviously they also work in the large one. So you'll get the stripes and the splatters, and I've used the splatters for this one. So let's go ahead and adhere that to its own piece of crushed curry. This was so easy because it's really just adhering some stuff together and putting it on the piece of 
cardstock. I mean, it doesn't get a whole lot easier than that. Yeah, just be patient, patient, patient on Tuesday, okay? When one million people, one million people try to get on the website at the same time, there are bound to be some issues. All right, so I'm just going to adhere that. You can see it goes all the way across the card front. Let's use that wiggleness, wiggly wiggliness of the liquid glue to make sure it's kind of straight. It looks to be kind of straight. All right. And then we can go ahead and just adhere this to the pretty peacock panel. And that's what I would call our large card front. All right, like so. Okay, now remember when you're using liquid glue, the advantage is you can wiggle it around, but you also have to be a little careful because you can wiggle it around when you don't want to. Okay, so let's set that aside. Let the liquid glue do its thing. Hey, Lenny, appreciate you coming. Now for my small panel, which is really just another card base, I have got, oh, well, you know what I did here is I kind of messed this up, but that's okay, we're gonna fix it. If we're gonna let it just look like this. Let me show you what I did here. I cut my um, mat just a little bit too small. So for this card, when you see the instructions tomorrow, the mat will be larger. This is gonna be a four and one eighth inch by five and three eighths inch mat instead of four by five and a quarter, okay? So this one's gonna be a little bit unbalanced. It's not really gonna be unbalanced. It's just gonna be a different look and I'm gonna like it just as well, I can assure you. All right, so I've got that pretty paper in bubble bath. Look how pretty bubble bath and pretty peacock is. I'm thinking, hello. Hey, thank you, Debbie, I appreciate that. Hey, Alicia. All right, we're gonna put this on its pretty peacock mat, and then we'll adhere it to the front of this crushed curry card base this little crushed curry card base. And I am not using dimensionals to do this adherating. I will pop the sentiment on with a dimensional. Now it is also easier if you build all of your small card base before you adhere it to your card panel. Just throwing that out there. All right, now on a piece of basic white. Hey Vicki, appreciate you coming. I am going to stamp the color and contours sentiment. You are absolutely amazing. And I am going to, oh, it's not thicky, it's not thicking. Thick on there, thick on there. I'm going to stamp it in pretty peacock. And then I'm going to cut it out with the amazing scalloped contours dies. One of my favorite sets, really, it's kind of a go-to. You get these four rectangles. Actually, I guess that's five. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to use this small one, and I'll be right back. I'm just going to do it off screen so that you don't get wiggled, wiggled to death and make you seasick. We'll just give us, I'm just cutting it out. I know you guys know how to do that. Okay. All right, all right, all right, there we go. Now I'm going to poke out, mm -hmm. well, here I am. I'm gonna poke out my little, you know what? I just got ink on that. These little doohickeys, the hanging chads. The chads are hanging, people. The chads are hanging, the chads are hanging. That sounds like a, a horror film. And hanging chads, there we go. I suppose I could have also used my take a pick tool, but that would have been crazy. Okay, now I'm gonna use some dimensionals here and I'm going to actually put them on the card front because I'm gonna let the, uh, I'm gonna let it hang off of the edge. Let me show you why, why slash how. It's gonna set like this and I do not mind. In fact, I kind of want it to hang off the edge of the small card front and you really can't get off, off the card at all. You can't hurt yourself here. There's no hurting yourself with this one. All right. I mean, dudes, D 
dudes and dudettes, we're almost done. That's how easy this card is, is that we're almost done. You're saying to yourself, self, if she says it's so easy, why did she measure it wrong? Well, that is a valid question. Very valid indeed. I'm going to stick another dimensional up there. And my only excuse is, hmm, yeah, got nothing. I'm just so used to it being four by five and a quarter that I just cut it like that and went on with it. Okay, now on the inside, we're going to stamp a second sentiment. And the one we're going to use is thank you for everything because, you know, that's why you're so awesome is because you're doing stuff for us. Is that this one? Yep. Okay. Thank you, Deb. Appreciate that. And we're going to do this one again in Pretty Peacock. Seriously, one of my favorite colors ever. I was so, so happy to see this back in the color refresh. I can't even begin to tell you. And it happens to be sort of perfect with bubble bath. Just saying. Now, on this card, let me just show you. You could, if you wanted, like if you were are a really prolific note writer and you really want to write a lot, just mat a piece of um, basic white on some crushed curry and maybe put this color and contour flower in the corner and then you'd have the whole back to write on. But for me, this was um, enough and I thought it was just exactly right. But you can absolutely add another little something something if you want. Now, there's several things. This is the outline of the flower and the fill, and I'm just going to use the outline. Why? I don't know, because that's what I decided to do. You could absolutely fill it if you wanted to. Hi, Sharon, appreciate you guys, you coming. And Lynn, thank you so much. And I'm just gonna stamp it down here in the corner. So cute, all by itself, and in a fit of efficiency, you know me, I might measure wrong, but I am still efficient. I'm going to go ahead and put this on my envelope. There we go. And I'm going to shut this before I have a pretty peacock ink catastrophe. I mean, I like it, but I really don't want it all over everywhere. Just saying. Okay, now somewhere in this mess, I have got one last piece of pretty peacock. Hey, Heather, appreciate you coming. Is it Tuesday yet? Nope, almost, Janice. You have to sleep three more times and then you can wake up and have at it on Tuesday. Just remember to be patient. It could be busy. Now remember the transition of the online store is supposed to be around 3 a.m. Mountain Time. So you'll want to kind of do that math in your head and figure out what time that is for you. And then you'll have to decide whether you're getting up early to try to get, to get your orders in. What is everybody going to buy first? That's my question. What is the one thing that you've almost got the, you've got the product number memorized and you are just ready to enter it right now? Tell me what it is that you really want more than anything. And no, all of the catalog is, is a valid response, but it can't be the first one. You've got to have something that's first. All right, here we go. Now, to adhere this, I'm going to use some liquid glue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the glue on the card base, okay? Because I really only want it on this center section because otherwise I'm going to have some lumpy bumpies and that's no good. Nobody wants lumpy bumpies. Liquid glue is perfect for when you're trying to adhere to something lumpy like an embossed panel. So I am just eyeballing that, getting it on straight and kind of equal distant. And then we're gonna push it down and I'll open it up and give a little rubby rub, 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 rub. New colors and daisies. Ah, stargazing, earth and elegance. Yes, that one is absolutely on my list too. Definitely on my list. All right, I, I have several that are on my list. Actually, I'm a little bit unproud to say this is my list. I was gonna be good, but I'm feeling not good. I, I'm feeling not good. I've got a lot of things on here. But to be fair, a lot of them are embellishments and ribbons and you know important things like that. So I'm going to be very grateful for my discount on Tuesday. My credit card is also going to be grateful for my discount. All right, so I've got 
some brushed brass butterflies, which are carrying over, thank goodness. And I'm gonna put a large one on the sentiment, and then I think I'll put a couple of smalls on here. You have a form that would work for that list. I, <laughs> I don't know, I know. If only I could, if only I could get it all put in ahead of time and then just hit submit right first thing on Tuesday. That would be an awesome thing. And then one of the cool things about these brushed brass butterflies, other than the fact that you can't say them fast, brushed brass butterflies, butterflies, is that they're flat. So you can actually add them easily on the inside of a card, which I kind of like. So look at that. One beautiful piece of DSP on another pretty. I mean, this is pretty. It's not beautiful like this, but it's pretty. And some embossed pretty peacock. And then let's go ahead and put our... Um, and you know, I had an idea. Let's. I'm going to change this up. I didn't do this for my sample, so you won't see this on the card that's on my blog tomorrow. But wouldn't it be cool? What if... What if we took this... Oh, very nice. Nice. Yeah. Courage and faith and supremely awesome. Those are very beautiful. Do you need a, yes, yes. Well, you see, here's the thing. I, I really only thought I had a few things. I, I was thinking one, possibly two sticky notes. And then, well, it got away from me. Oh, oh wait, that wasn't even all of them. Look, it's all of these, oh my goodness. Anywho, so what I'm going to do here, because I because I can, and it's only 16 minutes after 7, I'm going to take my pretty peacock, and I'm going to stamp this on my 2 and 1 quarter inch by 6 inch piece of the DSP, just to make it have a little something something. Because who doesn't like a little something something on their envelope flap? Um, Kathleen, demonstrators can order until, I want to say, midnight mountain time on the 1st, and then the pre-order ends, and the, um, cus the, it goes wide to customers at 3 a.m. on Tuesday. So there'll be, like, a little gap in there where you probably couldn't order. But if you ordered during the day, either tomorrow or on Monday, if you're a demonstrator, then you can absolutely pre-order still. Yep, 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 yep. I know, Amy, that's kind of where I was too. And to in my defense, a lot of these are the embellishments and ribbons, which in previous days, I would have just sat and entered the numbers from the catalog. I don't know why I took that all down, why I did all of that. Why did you do that? Uh, hey, Rosie, appreciate you coming. I also sometimes forget what day it is. It, it happens a lot. I don't. I don't really know. I've discovered that when I get ahead, I really get confused about what day it is, and it just it's just crazy. Speaking of, you guys mark your calendars because uh, we will not be doing videos from basically the 16th of May through the 28th, whatever that Monday is. Our next video after that will be the Thursday of that first Thursday in June, okay? So just kind of mark your calendar, and I'm going to post that. You don't need to worry about remembering it. It's just something to put in your kit bag. And the Zoom, the craft rooms um, will also stop during that period because we will not be in the country. And I will definitely not know what time of day or even what day it is, even worse than already is the case. All right. So there is our card. I love this card. I'm I'm not going to lie. And I know that's like self-promotion right there, but I really really do love this card. I love I've been wanting to use this piece of DSP for a while now, and I finally did it and I got some pretty peacock on my envelope. That's where I'm going to put my return address label. So there you go. All right, guys. I appreciate you and I do thank you for spending part of your weekend with me. Um have a great rest of your weekend, and I will see you guys on Thursday. Have so much fun with your orders on Tuesday. See ya. Ta.